What is up my fellow mobile gamers? In today's video for Legion of Ace, we are going to be going over the artifacts section. All about artifacts today. But before we get started, as always, if you are new to the channel or if you have not hit that little red subscribe button right beneath this video, please click that red subscribe button. We are trying to get to a thousand subscribers is our first goal. We're almost at 50. We need every single one of you. I know I got a few videos out there that have several hundred, vi hundred views and we don't even have 50 subscribers yet. So y'all are slacking. Come on, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and let's jump into this artifact guide. As you can see, there are different rarities. We have our blue ones and our purple ones, and we have some green ones. If you look over here, we have these uh, orange ones. These are like, you know, legendaries. These are very, very hard to get. Now, the big question is, how do you get an artifact? Well, in order to get an artifact, you must collect all the different pieces to make the artifact so as you can see for the limbo blade we needed one two three four five we needed all five of these little pieces in order to create the limbo blade and then if we go over here this one again five now the stronger it is or the more rare the artifact is the more items it will take so as you can see the purple ones require five but if we go over to this blue one this blue one only needs four and then i believe if we go over to the green ones the green ones only need three now where do you get the items to make your artifacts there's your main area right so we'll go over here and cube draw right here this is the cube draw this is pretty similar to the summoning area i'll uh i'll go out right here so we can see uh right here right here in the middle you see is our squad altar this is where we get our summons to get like fragments well it's pretty much the same thing if we just go over here to the space-time cube and you will get a piece for an artifact now once we get all pieces you will unlock one of the special abilities to use in battle and if we go and we're going to look a little bit more in depth we'll look at the limbo one first down here at the bottom you will see a star count the stars go hand in hand with the items in the artifact so as you can see i have all these at two stars so that makes it an overall a two star artifact if we go over to let's say the moonlight mirror i have over here this is only a one star artifact and you can see i have some of the items at two stars but not all of them you need to have all the items at that star count in order to upgrade the actual whole artifact to that star upgrade so as you can see we have two stars two stars two stars but these two are at one so i need to upgrade these two and then i can go to a two star now how do you upgrade it you can just click on it this is probably the easiest way once you have it unlocked just click on it and it will tell you okay we need one more to star up this part to star up this one the uh the golden mirror we'll click star and then it'll tell you okay you can obtain it from the cube draw or the market now, once you already have it unlocked, the easiest way that I highly suggest is to just do the artifact store. Just go to the artifact store and straight up buy it with your artifact fragments. Of course, that is saying if you have enough. So we click it over here and as you can see, it will say that we can purchase one from the store. Uh, we can purchase one and it is 40 artifacts. Unfortunately, we do not have artifact frags. Now here's the next question. How do we get artifact frags? There's a few different ways you can mostly get them through various events that will be popping up throughout the game and another way that you can get artifacts is when you go and you do your pulls so as you can see right here if we do our first pull this one pull um it will cost us 200 gems to purchase one of these little crystals and that will be used to obtain one artifact fragment now if we do a this one the uh, big crystal which will roll for us five times it'll be 900 gems to purchase that and we will get five so as you summon at the cube, you will get some of these. So let's go back over to the artifacts, check out the artifacts. That's pretty much it. Pretty simple for the starring it up. You just click it. And for this one, of course, it's going to say we need two and, you know, so on and so forth. At the bottom right here, am I in the, I'm a little bit in the way, but right here next to my face right here, you'll see a big number. That is the combat power. The Limbo Blade we have is one, two, three, 214,000 combat power. 
And this just kind of gives you an overall idea of how strong this artifact is overall. Now, if we go over to the skill section, this actually tells us a little bit more in depth about what the artifact does and how to upgrade it, AKA level it up. Angel wings I have is at level 51. If you check out the limbo blade, I got it at level 58. Now, something that's very, very important to pay attention to, and this will help you out so much, when you go into those different battles, if you haven't watched my previous ones when we were in the Demonic Tower and we were doing various areas, there are some spots where you will want to take a damage artifact over a healing artifact and you can easily find out what you want to take by just going over here to your artifact section and looking at the top right corner. It will give you a basic view of what the artifact does. So the Limbo Blade right here just does damage, right? Just straight raw damage. This one, damage. Uh, the Star Jewel right here, damage and debuff, which is really, really good. So not only are we damaging, but we're also going to debuff the enemy. Um, right here, the Flame Shield, it just straight up says shield. Uh, damage debuff, damage and control. So control would be crowd control, which is stuff like stunning. All right, and in order to upgrade those artifacts, we are going to need some souls. Right here, as you can see, common soul, we just got some. The Eternal War is the best place to get these souls. So as you can see, we are in the Demonic Tower. If we go over to Eternal War and we do some of these runs, you will get a ton of common souls. We'll go right here, and right here we have our upgrade. Now once we click upgrade, bam! increases the level it will increase our overall power for that artifact and you will see the green increase right so the green part is what will increase when you level it up so if you go through here and you just like look you'll say okay so this can increase we can deal more magical damage um reduce their speed by 30 percent so see how this isn't in a color this is like static so this will always be 30 percent regardless of what level this is but then the and hit by 50. So see the green 50 as we level up this artifact, this 50 will increase. That's one thing to keep in mind when you're going through and looking. If you see a number in green, that number will change as you level it up. Anything in this gray area, any gray numbers, just regular text is static and does not change. So as you can see, again, this will change as we upgrade. This will change as we upgrade. The stunning right here does not change. There will always be a stun of two seconds, regardless of what level we have it. And over here, we can check out our stats. And this will just give you like a nice little brief artifact introduction, um, some flavor text, a backstory for it. It'll give you the knowledge, the wisdom, the leadership, and the strength, some more stats. If we click up here in the little eye, it'll tell you strength is our base attack and HP. That shows us our percentage. Uh, leadership area, we have our load and collect speed. This would be for the world map. Um, we have our wisdom, which is our holy soul and artifact damage. So overall, 67.9%. And then our knowledge is just our magic immunity, 7%. And this just gives you a breakdown of each individual one if you go and look over the stats. Now, the really, really cool part, and the one that some people might not understand, is there is a really, really cool thing called chaining your artifacts. So what you have to do is you have to have all three of these artifacts in battle in order to chain them all three together and you will get this extra ability which is really really cool you have all three lit up like this one shows i actually could do this chain bless of god but if you go over to one like this and this one's grayed out we need to unlock this artifact before we can do this chain so i have our chain skill bless of god releases a powerful shockwave to cause 20% of max HP damage to all enemy units in the area. Now, again, you see the green. Green, if you see the green, it means it can go up, it can increase. And it says the power of chain skills determined by star level of artifact. This is very important because if you look, chain is only a one star. And that is because this battle horn is only one star. We have our flame shield at two and the other uh, artifact at two stars, but all of them need to be at the same star level to have that upgraded. So once we upgrade this battle horn, our chain bless of God will be at two stars. 
and this 20% will increase. And as you can see at the bottom, it says artifact chain, and this one is lit up, the second one right here, because we have three of the artifacts needed. If I was to take this away and uh, we bring something else in, as you can see, it goes away. So if we click right here, click this off, we bring these three, bam, this one activates. So we have an artifact chain and it's right here. We're gonna click confirm and it actually shows up right here next to our artifacts. Now we're gonna go into battle real quick and there's just one important thing extra that I wanna talk about. When you are trying to pull off this chain, you need to do them somewhat fast. You can't kind of like sit around and mess around. So we're gonna throw one out. Now see in this bottom corner, you need to kind of do them pretty quick and then it will say achieve. Now I'm, I'm kind of blocking it. So I'm going to move myself over right now and I'm going to try and do that again. Um, right. So I'm just going to, I'm just throwing them out there. See, it shows up and see, we have two of them activated. Now three of them. Now, again, it, you could do any three of them. You don't have to do them in a certain order. You just have to activate all three, right? So you don't have to activate the shield first or the other one first. There's no specific order. You just need to activate all three of them. Now, I would just want to do one more demonstration and show you what happens if you take too long. Right? There is a little bit of a, a gap of time. You can't just activate one and then kind of hang around and wait and then activate another because it will go away it will break a chain again it is a chain so we need to have them all activating within a certain period of time right so we can go like this um and again you can use your other artifact and it doesn't break your chain so i have my limbo right here the limbo blade is not a part of this three artifact chain so it does not break it, right? I'm gonna activate that. And this is still active, as you can see now, if I drop the second one, we have two. Now I'm gonna hold off and I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait a little bit. Now watch what happens. If we wait too long, the chain gets broken and it disappears. And then we have to start the whole chain over again. So again, that's very, very important to keep in mind. You need to do them within a certain amount of time. I would say it probably, you know, you probably have, uh, what was that? Like probably five seconds probably five seconds before you need to activate another one before you break the chain. I mean, that's just, you could go and actually time it if you want, but you know, that's just a relative estimate of what it would be. So I believe I went through everything, but I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Hit the subscribe button again, hit the like button. I love y'all. And please comment down below what you would like to see next. Stay happy, stay safe, my friends. Peace.